Hey everyone, hopefully you're doing great today. So I'm gonna break this uh, framework down. This is what's called the bow tie funnel and then kind of do a breakdown as far as like B2B, B2B and then B2C uh, type companies and depending on what motions that you have and the difference between uh, B2C and B2B. So the biggest thing to take away from any framework or any technology that you decide to do with your business is you wanna make the technology and the frameworks actually work for your business model and not the other way around. So let me summarize the bow tie funnel. So we know the traditional funnel, which is basically the left side. And as it converts, you know, you get less people and then eventually you close win. Well, the bow tie funnel goes a little bit into more detail and it covers onboarding the CS side and then the expansion and the relationship building side. So usually whenever you uh, do B2C, business, business to consumer, um, you know, it's an easy purchase decision. They're usually smaller tickets. Uh, a lower lifetime value and you know the smart companies will they'll go ahead and target and market to them awareness attract nurture and eventually convert they may not negotiate and then it's a closed one deal uh, once it's closed one it goes back to the beginning of the loop with if they remarketed and if they didn't remarket if the company doesn't remarket um, it'll basically they'll basically get a new fresh set of people going through the funnel again um, so that's the biggest takeaway. Marketing is a revenue driver in this case. Marketing is the one that's going to drive the revenue for um, B2C type um, models. Now, on the B2B side, um, you know, the, your number of clients are going to definitely be a lot smaller. And technically and typically, you'll have a higher lifetime value also. And one takeaway from here is, you know, the uh, CS, customer success and expansion side, is a revenue driver for most of the um, B2B type companies. And another thing to kind of take into consideration, B2B is primarily account-based marketing or account-based selling, where you're not actually targeting an individual. You want to target individuals that are above the power line, the decision makers, but at the same time, um, you're really targeting, you're doing an orchestrated targeting towards um, the company and not necessarily just one person. Uh, versus like B2C, you're targeting one consumer, one person, one contact versus the actual company. So those are a few things to, um, to consider. And then um, another thing to look at, too, is from a B2B standpoint, right? Let's say uh, we're doing B2B. It's usually demand generation. You're creating awareness. You're nurturing. You're converting. And then you're negotiating. And then you close win. Well, for the B2B side, uh, business to business, what you're doing, the real work actually doesn't start until you go to the right side of the bow tie funnel. And as you're going to the right side of the bow tie funnel, you know, you're delivering your product. You're del delivering your promises. You're, you're doing a great job as a consultant. Um, you're creating that relationship. And usually there's going to be some kind of expansion um, type revenue, which is the, you can cross sell the client uh, for more products. You can upsell them on something different and you can also get referrals. So once you hit the expansion side, you're doing, you're doing a great job. You're creating impact. You're creating a value for your client. The uh, actual sales cycle will shorten. As you can see here in the blue line, you know, you can technically grow without any acquisition cost because then it would go over here to close one and then you would start the cycle all over again versus, um, you know, the B2C side, you're always going to have that customer acquisition cost. So the deal will go through awareness negotiate whatever close one quick sale and then you always have to go back and kind of retarget and remarket to other people now the smart companies will remarket to, to the current client base that are already sold um, to see if they want other products um, do some kind of campaigns but typically you're always going to have to keep the top of the funnel full for the b2c type clients